Better head inside quick before old Danny catches on to the bluff. No, I didn't mean to talk to that. Piper, who let you back inside? I told Sullivan to keep that gate shut. I didn't mean to you ignore her. Devious, rabble rousing slander. The level of dishonesty in that paper of yours. I'll have that printer scrapped for parts. Ooh, that a statement, Mr. McDonough? Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Mayor McDonough? One second, sir. Why don't we ask the newcomer? You support the news? Because the mayor's threatened to throw free speech in the dumpster. Always believed in freedom of the press. Rightly so. A true medium for the people. Oh, right. I didn't mean to bring you into this argument, good sir. No, no, no. You look like Diamond City material. Welcome to the great green jewel of the Commonwealth. Safe, happy, a fine place to come. Spend your money. Settle down. Don't let this muckraker here tell you otherwise, all right? What are you two arguing about, anyway? What do you think? Print lies and everybody's happy, but if you print the truth... <laughs> <laughs> now, was there anything particular you came to our city for? I'm trying to find someone. Trying to find someone? Who? My son, Sean. He's less than a year old. Wait, your son's missing? Oh, you hear that, McDonough? What's Diamond City Security doing to help this man, huh? This isn't the first missing persons report to come through here, and now we have an infant who's been taken? No, don't listen to her. Well, I'm afraid that our security team can't follow every case that comes through. I'm confident that you can find help here. Diamond City has every conceivable service known to man. One of our great citizens can surely find the time to help you. Well, sure. And a mayor of a great city must know everyone. Who can help me? Oh, I'm sorry, I don't have time for any more questions. I'm <laughs> a <laughs> man. Fucking Enjoy dead man. You're useless. This is ridiculous. Diamond City Security can't spare one officer to help. I want the truth, McDonough. What's the real reason security never investigates in the case? I've had enough of this, Piper. From now on, consider you and that little sister of yours on notice. Yeah, keep talking, McDonough. That's all you're good for. <laughs> Mm, a big Diamond City welcome from the mayor. Do you feel honored yet? Look, I gotta go get settled in, but, um, stop by my office later. I have an idea for an article you'd be perfect for. Alright. Race you to it! Diamond City was constructed in the remains of Boston's world-renowned baseball stadium. I could have assumed. At first, I was like, Diamond City. Hmm. All right. It must be an area where, you know, everything is kind of like slowly building back up. So, like, this is the 200 Diamond years. City. Holy god damn, but nope. My gun go do 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 do. Well, hello. Free paper to newcomers. If the institute grabs you in the night, at least we warned you. Well, here we come. Paper sales. 
Well, the presses are getting overloaded. That motor is going to go soon if we don't replace it. Uh, you've been saying that for weeks and the old girl still keeps cranking. Stop worrying so much. I gotta head into the office. You start whistling if you see any angry politicians coming our way. Why? Is something wrong? Piper? <sighs> Everyone who's anyone reads public occurrences. I gotta check a few things first. We'll talk later. Okay. Wow. Anyone is one of those things. It's that secretary of his. Her and her perfect hair. Mm hmm. The mayor's secretary. Come on, Ma. I cut her hair myself, and I know human hair. That's just it, Johnny. You wouldn't be able to tell the difference. If you nicked McDonough with your razor, he'd bleed. Don't mean nothing. Hmm. Hmm. So, what's intriguing me the most, because I just saw it running around, there's a little probe. And it looks similar to something I've... looks similar to like a space probe, like a legitimate space probe. So I want to check it out, see what its story is. I want to like... The shady fucking alleys and shit. You're full of it, that kind of talk. Follow the freedom trail, what? Just call me Blue. Why are you calling me that? Cause you're a vault dweller. <laughs> I know you're not wearing a blue jumpsuit right now, but the Pip Boy and that fish out of water look. Dead giveaways. So here's the deal. I want an interview. Your life story in print. I think it's time Diamond City had a little outside perspective on the Commonwealth. You do that, and uh, I'll tell you what. I'll come with you. Watch your back while you get used to the world above ground. All right, Piper. I'm in. Good. Let's do it. Let's get down to business. So, I know you're from a vault. How would you describe your time on the inside? My family and I were frozen. I didn't spend much time in the vault. W wait. <laughs> they boxed you up in a fridge? The whole time? Are you saying you were alive before the war? Yes. I'm over 200 years old. <laughs> Technically 210. The man out of time. So, you've seen the Commonwealth, Diamond City. How does it compare to your old life? Honestly, seeing everyone surviving out here, rebuilding the world, it gives me hope. That's surprisingly inspired, Blue. So cool. I'm definitely no. quoting that. I was going to call you fucking red. For your son, Sean. Do you suspect the Institute was involved in his kidnapping? Sure sounds like they might be. Not even a baby is safe from them. <laughs> and people wonder why I can't just look the other way. For the last part of our interview, I'd like to do something different. I want you to make a statement to Diamond City directly. The threat of kidnapping is all but ignored in the Commonwealth. Everyone wants to pretend it just doesn't happen. What would you say to someone out there who's lost a loved one but might be too scared or too numb to the world to look for them? No matter how much you want to give up, don't. You have to have hope that you'll see them again. Or at least that you'll know the truth. A strong note to end on, Blue. Thanks. I actually it's like her calling me blue. That's it's this is a weird thing. It's going to time to put this all together, but I think your story is going to give Diamond City plenty to talk about. Look, about your son. 
I didn't know if you were on the up and up before, didn't want to waste my friend's time, but I think he can help you. His name's Nick Valentine, detective extraordinaire. Got an office here in Diamond City. Just look for the neon sign with the heart in it. Uh, sure. Thanks, Piper. I'll talk to him. He'll like you. He's got a soft spot for the hard luck cases. Anyway, I agreed to come with you, right? Watch your back. Just say the word when you're ready. I can't wait to see where the story goes next. Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Miss Wright, I trust you'll do your best to put the safety of my master before your own personal gain. Of course, Codsworth. Psh, Jesus. Lucky for me, those two things go hand in hand. <laughs> uh, let's send you back to Sanctuary Hills with uh, the Derg. Oh, dear. Don't aim your weapon at me. Get out of here, Codsworth. Let's roll. It's big, loud, full of corrupt officials and brown nosing citizens. But it's home. But it's home. What have you done with the real Riley? Where's my brother? I swear I'm not a sin. Don't shoot, for God's sakes, we're family. Put the gun down now. He's a sin. He'll kill us all. Kyle, oh. no! Okay, show's over. There are no synths in Diamond City. Hear me? Just you folks and your damn paranoia. <laughs> he at least died gracefully. He at least died gracefully. from the rain. Rage are too late. Office is closed. I know you must be busy, but I won't take much of your time, miss. It's important. You don't get it. The detective, he's gone. Missing. That was yellow he's too, missing. but I think it's automatically supposed to... What has he gotten himself into this time? Fail. Don't worry, I can help. Tell me what happened. Nick was working a case. Skinny Malone's gang had kidnapped a young woman, and he tracked them down to their hideout in Park Street Station. There's an old vault down there that they use as a base. I told Nick he was walking into a trap, but he just smiled and walked out the door like he always does. I'll find him. You have my word. Thank you. I always press Nick square, but I don't need spot. to do it for money. He's always wearing that old hat and trench coat getup. Please, hurry. I'll take his trench coat. We're doing this simply because we can. <laughs> 